Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding data for framework tutorial. This is our part number 24. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about user defined helper. In the previous videos, we had seen some predefined helpers of Codeigniter 4 in which we had discussed about HTML helper, form helper as well as URL helper. Now this time, we are going to create a user-defined helper. It means a helper which contains our own custom functions and we will use inside our controller. So if I back to editor and go to inside this app directory so if we want to create any custom helper we need to create a file inside this helpers folder go inside that right now it is empty so inside this folder we will create a file let's say user underscore helper dot php while creating any helper file we have a naming convention now if i back to slide open a new tab let's say that we are going to create a user defined helper so we need must to extend or let's say attach something helper keyword it means inside the file what we have created called user underscore helper dot php it means the helper we are creating called user because underscore helper is the default suffix we need to add while creating any user defined helper now go inside that simply creating a php tag and we are going to define some let's say stand alone functions which we will use inside controller so first of all let's say that if function we are going to check that if we are defining any functions inside any file then we need to check that if that function already exists inside application or not so let's define a function name here so same thing print my message this is the function name what we have passed as a parameter value inside this function exist copy that go inside this if block it means this function does not exist inside this application so what we will do we are going to create that function so print my message and inside this print my message we are going to take a value something message and simply let's say echo message here this is a simple function we have declared which is going to accept a value and simply it is going to print that now the next question is or the next task that how can we use this user helper so as we know that while using any helper inside application we need to first load inside application so how can we load go inside controllers keep in mind base controller is the parent controller so we need to open that and here we define helpers so what i will do simply putting a comma and the helper name is something user this is the user helper what we have created now while loading that we are going to access all the functions what we will define inside this file back to site controller let's create a function so public function let's say list call this is an anonymous function we have created now inside this simply we are going to use let's say this print my message function so go inside here and as we know that already we have loaded this user helper inside this base controller it means we are now free to use this function inside this controllers method so simply let's say echo or the method name or the function name what we have called print my message copy that pasting it here and let's say online web tutor go inside routes.php back to config routes.php file let's create a route for that so copy paste and let's say that print hyphen message it is going to use site controller inside that site controller we have method called list call copy and pasting it here now if i copy the method name sorry route name back to browser let's say index.php and here print hyphen message 
Now as we can see that this is the message what we have printed by the help of helper function. Back to editor. Now instead of simple message, if suppose if I write if I wrap this message inside h1 tag and let's say message save this file back to browser reload this page and as we are getting this text message inside h1 element instead of this simple function also, in case if we want to define some more functions, let's go ahead and create one more helper function inside this. So, let's say function exist. Find my length inside this. If I copy, let's say function find my length inside this find my length, we will pass a string value and it is going to return the length of the string. So simply let's return and we are going to use a PHP function that is strlen which is going to calculate the length of the string. So we are going to take this value, pasting it here, save these changes and as we know that this helper already we have loaded inside this base controller so we need to use this function. So copy this function, go inside site controller if I make comment of this line, let's say string is equal to this is a string value and let's say length equal to this is the function what we have defined and inside this function we are passing this string value and let's say that length equal to and simply I am printing length value. Save this change back to browser reload this page and as we can see that we are getting length equal to 16. So these are the simple steps guys by the help of those steps actually we can create a user defined helper inside code igniter for application. So so far what we have discussed this is only about defining small functions inside this user helper. Now let's define some functions which is going to interact with our database. So what I will do, let's say if function exist, simply let's say get users function get underscore users. Inside this, first of all, we need to actually load or create a database instance. So what I will do, let's say db equal to config next we are going to use database and connect I think that we had discussed about this syntax in means previous videos inside this course so you must watch before seeing this concept next what I will do let's say db query let's say select start from dbl underscore users simply we are selecting data let's say users and what I will do simply return the users what we will get inside this save these changes copy this function name back to site controller if I make comment of all these three lines let's say users equal to get users and simply if I write print a uh, users let me use a formatting tag so echo pre tag save these changes back to browser reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all about database object values now if we want to get rows as we know we need to use a method here something get result array save these changes reload this page and as we can see that we are getting our database values so successfully guys inside this video we had seen all about the concept of user defined helper in code igniter 4 inside this user defined helper we have created some simple functions as well as we have used some database concept values 
So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will keep my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.